Well done, sir. Yeah, uh, that's so awesome. Um, hopefully, we get invites to the wedding. And if we do, we can go to the reception and wear thongs and get on the table. And oh, dude, absolutely. I'm banana hammock. I'm wearing some butt dental floss, dude. <laughs> and at that moment, delete, delete, delete. delete. We're not going to the wedding. <laughs> well, my wedding invitation came in the mail the other day, so... Oh. So, <laughs> so I'm going, Brian, Jenny. <laughs> um, what have I done? I, I I was kidding about the banana hammock and the. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> well, a little bit kidding, you know. I'd still do it. <laughs>
Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> well, a little bit kidding. You know, I'd still do it. <laughs> but no, that was that's dude really classy. Having that, giving them a shout out. And like it was said, a great. It was a great, uh, great turnout. It was cold outside. You know, when you play outdoor venues, you, you always. <gasps> wonder how the crowd's going to turn out and actually uh people came out in force there were yeah. um, there were other tribute bands out there a lot of our favorite photographers in the scene were all christine glenn i saw them in the the, the audience um yep. Yep. And, and i i only caught a few people that were there um uh, colin was there and and I have to give Colin a hard time because he's like, oh, Rick, stay on vacation. Sammy, I'm like, uh, that's how you get unfriended. <laughs> <laughs> but in, in, in all fairness, um, I couldn't have picked or, or, or been more proud to have Sammy sit in for me yeah, and, yeah. and, and I'm, I'm comfortable with my, my position in oh, the band. Absolutely. But if I was going to pick somebody, I didn't want to slouch in that seat because we... We have pretty, I think we have pretty high standards. We do. We I, agree? Absolutely. We work very hard for what we do. And so. um, she did a phenomenal job. Miss Sammy, if you're watching, thank you so much for covering my backside. Sweetie, I owe you uh, I owe you a couple drinks because you are an absolute rock star. Thank you for covering my butt. My wife and I needed a little time. Uh, it's, you know, 24 years we've been together. It's our first vacation alone. Yeah, no, I think it's awesome. It was it was a good time. It was killing me not to be there, but it's it's I needed some me time. And I didn't post very much. So, yeah. and I did notice you guys unveiled the new hoodies. Yes, the Rebel Yell hoodies. I'm going to tell you, I can't wait to get my hands on one, but I'm leaving the sleeves on. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to, I'm not going to cut it off. Yeah. They're, too, they're too nice to. Uh, I love them. Uh, it, you know, they really pop. And which, um, which one are you? I am the little, I'm the, the little, um, you the little Asian guy. Yeah. The little Filipino <laughs> with my black wig. I, I put on some really heavy spray tan. See, I was going to go for the, the one, I'm the one in the lingerie. Yes. That's you for sure. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh my God. Um, what else is going on? Let's talk a little bit about unglued, man. You guys, uh, you guys have got some stuff going on. Yeah, man. It's, uh, you know, obviously, uh, we, we, Generally, we work around uh, all of our different band members' schedules oh, because God. everybody's yeah. not just with Rebel Yell, but also with Unglued. Uh, all our bands, got, yeah, <laughs> we, we work around it, and um, so Unglued hasn't played a, a ton, but we uh, we've been a little bit more selective yeah. of what we're doing. We try to play out of town more when we can, and um, you and guys are just down, just down, or going down here shortly to to play with the Atlantis Morris set. Yeah, in April we're going yes. down there. Um, April eighteenth, I believe it is. Yeah, um, I'm not one hundred percent because it's in my tablet. But we're going down there, and also Terry Murphy from Flannel Box and Escape, his Candle Box tribute band's going down there with us. Oh, Excuse nice! Me. So yeah, we're playing uh, a little grunge um, type festival down there at That's Dirty Dogs. That mm -hmm. and Dirty Dogs is an awesome venue. The last time I played there uh, was with uh, Sedated. <laughs> That's how long ago it's been. Yeah. And uh, we had the smoke machines going. We set off the fire alarm. Oh, I remember you, I remember you telling me about that. <laughs> they yeah. stopped us, and it was only like 15 minutes into the show, and they stopped us, and the alarms are going off, and like, guys, a little less smoke. And of course, Lance and Gino, in true Ramones fashion, are like, one, two, three, four, and we just launched right back I into it. it. It was like, the alarms are still going off, the lights are flashing, and it was like, <laughs> okay, we heard you. And the crowd went, Crazy! Oh, they you guys gonna love that stage. Well, I, I, me being from Austin, I played, oh, you that, played that. I played there many times. Do um, you, they've got that button that does the lights up underneath the, that that grate on the front of the stage. You know, they didn't have that <gasps> when I used to play there. So. If they still have it, dude, it's so awesome because when you get over it, you want to the rock star. Yeah, the, right. you, it, there's a little foot switch under the the, the 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 chicken wire mesh or whatever that is. Yeah. The you hit the button and the the lights. See, I don't remember them having that when oh. I played there, so that's, if they still have it. I hope they do. Of, You're going to love it. Well, we're looking forward to that. And then also, um, March 7th, which is coming up here in Montana. That's uh, like a week and a half away. Yeah, at Gas Monkey Live, um, the Red Knot Chili Peppers from San Diego yep. are coming back. Um, this will be Unglued's fourth time to play with them, and yeah. they request us, and it's cool because <clears throat> it's nice to know a tribute band from across the country. Every time they come, they kind of like... They want us yes. to play with them, and um, you built that that friendship with them. Yes, yeah, the, yeah. the cross country friendship, and and it, it is good to see. I'm always territorial about the the DFW music scene. This yeah. is our sandbox, you know. Yeah. When you come in from out of, but we don't really have. Do we have a Chili Peppers? I don't think so. I know at one point there was a band trying to do it a yes. while back, but I have not heard anything. I haven't either. In like a year and a half, two years. So I don't know if it ever. So with that said, it's like okay. You know what? If we're not going to do it locally, which <laughs> yeah, maybe <laughs> yeah, right. 
Um, if you're, if we got to bring somebody, in, okay, we'll bring somebody in, and those are good guys. They're really talented, and they're they're great, and they they've toured Mexico, they've toured all over the United oh, yeah. States. <clears throat> Um, there, to me, from just what I've seen, the, the four times, or this will be the fourth time, but the three times we've played with them, um, they bring it, the music is the integrity of the show, the dude sounds like Anthony Kiedis, the dude plays like uh, Paul, plays like uh, Flea. So we're just really stoked because every show that we've done with them has been a good one. This, yeah. We've played with them <clears throat> twice at Gas Monkey Bar and Grill. This will be our second time to play with them at, at Gas, Live. Monkey, Gas yeah. Monkey Live, yeah. which I'm super stoked about. Anytime you can get on the live stage, yeah, is absolutely. incredible. And I and I think it was we saw uh, a, a Red Hot Chili Peppers. Amy and I were with Josh on vacation a few years back in Mexico. We walked down the beach, and there's uh, there's a Red Hot Chili Pepper tribute band playing. I don't know if it was them or not, but I'm telling you, they look familiar. And these guys, I thought I was watching the Peppers until I got up close. Close, yeah. We were down again. We we're down in Cabo because everyone knows I love going down to Cabo. And it, holy cow. It may have been them because they've played mm. there. They've played Mexico. There's footage of them playing multiple. It might have been them. And I'm going to tell you, they wowed me back then. Then when they come to town, they wow me every time they're here. Um, that's one I may have to pull some strings with some singers I know <laughs> and, and get backstage. And, and I'd like to, to interview them um, just because they're they're incredible. Dude, absolutely. I mean, um, I know that we're, we're going to get there probably load in um, at Gas Monkey Lives generally around 4. Yeah. So it might be something, uh, if you get there early enough before the show actually starts, I'm pretty sure we can make that happen. Because yeah. they're really cool dudes, and I think they, they really enjoy playing Dallas. So That's awesome. So that's March 7th, so y'all come out and check Market it out. Mark your calendars. It's going yeah. to be good, because uh, Unglued, we don't have any more local shows here for um, probably a few more months. So this is going to be the one you want to come and check us, because we probably mm. won't be playing again until June. Nice, nice. Just here in town. Let's talk about a little something else you got going on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So uh, anybody who pays attention knows, uh, obviously, you do a lot of MC work at Tease, and we'll get to that in a minute. Yeah. But you've got another little cover project going yeah. on. Yeah. Can, can we can we talk about it? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty excited about it, you know, um, because this is what I do for my my living. When <laughs> Rebel Yell and Unglued, um, when we're not playing, when we're not playing. <laughs> Um, you know, I, I, I have other players um, that, I'm, that uh, are in my open mic band and, um, and Unglued. Well, yeah. we decided to start a uh, 90s, 2000 rock alternative cover band, um, and we're called Lost Boys. Okay, Lost Boys, like the movie Lost like Boys? Like the movie, yes. And would you be like the, that blonde vampire? Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, we, we're, we're kind of doing something a little <laughs> bit different than what you would consider your, your average... Um, cover band as far as what we're doing. We're going kind of with a more m melodic, darker theme. Nice. Um, it's going to be more kind of like if you were to see rock star vampires in today, like uh, like Queen of the Damned yep. or yep. stuff like that, that's going to kind of be our image and our look. That's why we went with Lost Boys. Plus, when I, when I do the look, I've, I've heard it so many times yeah. that the guys were like, dude, you, you look like David, let's yeah. capitalize on yeah. that image. And so that's what we're going to do with the Lost Boys. And I, 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 I'm not going to divulge, but I'm, I'm privy. I do know a few of the songs you guys are doing. Mm -hmm. I'm like, holy cow. I'm pretty stoked, <laughs> man. We're, we're going we're gonna to be all over the place. But, you know, we've got so many great friends in the scene that, are, that do a lot of the 70s and 80s music, yeah. which, you know, we're in Billy Idol, so we do 80s and 90s. Yeah. Um, and actually some 70s from his Generation X stuff. There's a lot of our friends that that really have kind of got the 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 cover band market down for dance bands yep. and for uh, you know the 70s, 80s, and, and so I really was like, you know what, they're already great at what they do, so let's stay in our wheelhouse and be great Bingo. at what we <clears throat> do, and kind of move on and do some of the later stuff because I mean it's it's literally going to be 90s and 2000s, and it's going to be a lot of modern stuff um, besides the the grunge era, which is crazy because. You know, I've got my cover band, which we haven't played in a couple years, and we've we've resurrected it. We've been thinking about do we because just we wanted to play other music, and again, it's very '90s, 2000. Um, not, I, I think there's maybe a couple overlapping songs, but for the yeah. most part, different music. Ours is more, you know, because of my background coming from Seattle and the whole that grunge, mm -hmm. you know, era, yeah. um, a little more that that direction. But again, it's there's something fun about it. Mm -hmm. Doing the covers, I mean, because we're, we're, we're all musicians. And in, when you only play one musician, and me being doing Green Day or Billy Idol or you doing Billy Idol or uh, uh, Stone Temple Pilots, mm -hmm. you want to play something else. You, you want to dabble. Absolutely. And it, doing the cover band thing, 
gives you the ability to learn other stuff. You know, other musicians. I've been, believe it or not, I've been rocking out to some Motley Crue. Nice. I I, I, I do play a double bass, and it's like uh, I was talking with Chucky from uh, Kill 'Em All, mm -hmm. and I'm like, there's some Metallica that I want to learn. There's some stuff as a drummer that I want to learn. I happen to know. Stone Temple Pilots, you yeah. know, I, I know Foo Fighters, I know Nirvana, I, you know. Yeah. It's fun playing that kind of music. And and it does bring up, there was a post from a friend, uh, a, a post on, on uh, Facebook about that the whole damn originals and cover tribute. Stop. There is not a band that I, 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 a huge band that hasn't played covers on stage. And I'm always like, really? Come on. Well, I mean, there's a, a, just for instance, like one, one of my favorites from, from uh, the 90s, and I still love them today. You know, Alice in Chains was a cover band before. Yes, they, they were. They were a cover band before yes, they, they started were. writing. So, and, and like with Lost Boys, uh, a little something else with it. Not only were we a cover band, but we're also an original band. And we're writing original music. So it's kind of like... You know, when people post this thing between cover bands, tribute bands, originals, it's all BS. It's it's BS because really, at the end of the day, it's it's about following your dreams and playing music. Foo Fighters play covers on stage. ACDC, I think, has done it. Uh, I, almost any band you go out there, one of the biggest bands that everyone hates hates Nickelback started out as a damn cover band, mm -hmm. and. And, and I know people hate Nickel Band. They love love hating them. Let me tell you something. They got more hits than you do. So quit hating on them. <laughs> you know, and it, it's it, you know. I think at the end of the day, and I actually had a, a conversation with a buddy of ours. It's a, a fan of Rebel Yell. Penn and his wife came to see mm. us. He's the big cowboy dude. Oh yeah, I know big, exactly who he is. Yep, yep, yep. We were talking about uh, me, him, and his wife um, uh, after the show before they left the other night. And people were kind of judging the way he looks by what he listens to. And what we were talking about with that was that music is not a style. Music is a note. It's, 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 if it moves you and it goes in your ear hole and you like it, that means it's good music. It, it's not Bingo. About, it's like, oh, well, hey, because I listen to metal, well, country sucks. Nope. Well, what if, what if I like a country song? Bingo. Or, so I, I, there's this weird line that people keep kind of getting caught up in like if it's not this one thing then it sucks and that, i just think it's stupid because music is it's about freedom and music is art supposed to bring people together not tear them apart and and i people look at me and i go ah, i'm a pop punk drummer so they think i just like punk no oh, let me tell you right now go look at my phone i've got uh i got herb albert and the tijuana brass in there which i've been listening nice. to i've been listening <laughs> to earth wind and fire katie perry uh you know what i mean uh, bob marley i have the gamut of music and it's like don't judge me because i i, I love music yeah listen to music if it, if i happen and you know what i wasn't a country fan but becoming friends with rich, rich redmond mm -hmm. through the, the the breast cancer thing um i gotta be honest with you i i have a, a, a love now and an appreciation for jason aldean yeah um I, I'm an old Willie Nelson fan. I'm a Johnny Cash fan. Yeah, me I, too. Don't judge me because I look a certain way. So what? You know, I have a real job during the day, which a lot of people don't know about. I'm a mortgage loan originator, meaning I write loans for people's mortgages. Yeah. And people go, oh my God, you go to work with a mohawk? Yeah, mohawk and earrings. I put a suit on and just because I go play rock star at night doesn't mean jack squat. Yeah. You know, it's yeah. people are so... Unfortunately, people are so tied up with, you know, what looking at the differences. Why don't we look at what's the same? Yeah. But yeah, I'm glad you're doing the, the Lost Boys thing. I'm, I'm excited to see you guys on stage. I, and, you know, go back to the what you said a minute ago. It's being able to, for me, vote personally as a vocalist, I get to play all kinds of other songs that, that I like to sing. That Not only because I love the music, but it gives me another opportunity to show different stylings of my vocal ability. Oh. And because, you know, I love SDP and I love Billy Idol, but when you're doing that kind of music, when you're in a tribute band, you're really trying to stay as close to that. Yeah. But when you're in a cover band, you're, you're, not, act, you're not actually trying <clears throat> to tribute them. No, you're, you're just you're, playing music. You're, you're singing the song, and if you sound like them, okay, on one song, then you sound like them. If you don't, have, you're still doing it your way. That's what I'm loving about the cover. Have band. you watched the Foo Fighters? Watch, and go on YouTube and watch this stuff. The Foo Fighters, and I, I'm a huge Dave Grohl fan, yeah. okay? Any drummer that can get out in front, I'm like, yeah! yeah. They do a ton of covers, yeah. and, and Taylor will get up and sing, yeah. you know? And mm -hmm. again, he's got Chevy Metal, cover band. I mean, yeah. I love it. Yeah. I love it. I'm. Maybe I can jump in. Yeah, oh, I, there's some songs that I know. Oh, Maybe uh, I can come out and jump in. Yeah, absolutely. I just think it's great, and hopefully, because it, it ends up being a full night of party. Yes. Um. Oh my God, we're out of time. So real quick, because oh, there, I got a million things I still want to ask you about. I mean, um. <clears throat> 
Tell me real quick because you do a lot. Of, people don't. I don't know how many people really know. You know, I, you've been promoting it. You've been doing it. You host open mics over at Tees. You have done it Sundays and Tuesdays for, for year, forever. For like a year and a half and a half. That seems long. It's that's been, it. Yes. Oh my God! It seems like five years. I know. It does. <laughs> no, it's it's, uh, it's been every Sunday and Tuesday for a year and a half. Tim and I, we haven't missed one yet. Nice, nice. Um, so uh, we've been really committed to it. And Eric and Tammy and the whole uh, bartenders. They do a great staff, job. Uh, their family over there, and um, you know, so yeah, we've been doing that. And with some new announcements with it, I posted under a lot of the uh, the, the music sites that obviously were. Oh, all I know you post of, it to mine every week. Um, mm. Starting this Sunday. Um, we're going to start earlier on Sundays. Instead of starting nice. at 10, we're going to start uh, at 9. Uh, and then Tuesdays will still be uh, 10 o'clock. Sundays, you, if you're a band, you can come out. You can bring all your gear that you need. We do have a uh, house bass, house guitar. We have a DW kit. Um, yep. Um, so, you know, we provide a lot of stuff. Um, we have lights and great Show sound up. system. Yeah. And uh, if you do bring... Uh, uh, pedals or your amp, that's fine. Uh, we do not provide electric guitars, only on the electric bass. Yeah. Because uh, guitar players, man, they just really don't like you playing their two thousand <laughs> yeah. or three thousand dollar Taylor or Les Paul. Um, what are you saying? What's wrong with the drums? We don't want you bang. Oh wait, well, we bang it anyhow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> ooh, ooh, ooh. Um, but yeah, you know, we've, we're doing that at T's. Um, nice. So yeah, Sundays will be from nine to basically um, midnight or one. Oh wow. Players. Tuesdays um, we get we get a little bit louder, rock it out, and that starts at ten. Okay. I work, so I have never been out because I have a, a freaking normal gig. Mm -hmm. One of these three-day weekends where we got a Monday off, I need to come out on a Sunday night and hang out with you. Yeah, come check it out. I man. have never been able to come out. I mean, I've promoted it, you know, your stuff forever. Mm -hmm. I need to come hang out. Well, and the other good thing about it, and I, I, I talk about it on the mic because I, I try to be as transparent about um, my life and, and what why I love hosting open mics. I'll tell people, get out there and network. If, if, you, if you ask that guy over there if he knows how to play drums on that. Bingo. Because we switch. We have people that come up and sing Bingo. with the, the band. I'll play drums for somebody. I mean, we mix it up, and that's what open mic really is. And I tell about. people that all the time, especially at Tees. I'm always like, Eric and Tammy do a great job of hosting. Yeah. Get out there. Stick your toe in the water. If you're scared, we were all scared at one point, That's man. That's what open yeah. mic's about, This man. is how you get over the fear, because once you get over that fear, it's addictive. It is. It's, it's addictive. It's just like karaoke. The first time you get up and do a karaoke song, it, you just kind That's of knock that wall down. Well, but you know. I'm cool. a howler. I'm the guy who goes to karaoke. <laughs> it's like, okay, Rick will be singing, <laughs> and everybody's howling and laughing because I suck. That's why I'm just a drummer. <laughs> I mean, I suck at that too, but at least oh, it, I, I got a force field in front of me. When you throw shit, it bounces <laughs> off. It's like a deflector shields. Oh, my God. Brother, it has been way too long. I know. Will you come back again soon? Absolutely. I mean, it just seems like our schedules are so busy, and it's always like, I, I literally had to like, we've been talking about it. It's like, when, when, when's the last time you were on the show? It's been a long time. So you got to come back on soon. Absolutely. I'd love to. I Maybe come it. in and do a little. little. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, my Lord. Uh, thank you, Dallas Fort Worth, for hanging out with us. Here's another, uh, what, 20 minutes or so of your life that you're not getting back. Uh, and we're not even going to lie to you and tell you you are. It's gone. <laughs> Bye-bye. See ya. Um, if you want me to announce your band, send it to me. I know I've missed some stuff. I was out of town. Um, those of you guys, guys, if I miss it, don't get mad at me. Um, send it to me. Sometimes you guys, you, you send it to me and you forget. And here's one thing I'm going to tell you. We're setting up another email address and I will promote the living daylights out of it as soon as we get it set up where you can specifically send your stuff every week. Uh, I have somebody that will be dedicated to it since I am ADD and there's a squirrel and I forget oh. it. Yeah, literally I forget stuff. We're going to give you a place where you can send it every week. You still post it to, uh, concert connection in the pit with brick. I, I'm good with that, but just to make sure I announce it on the show, get it to me by Sunday because we record typically on Mondays and the show comes out on Wednesday. If, if you send it to me on Wednesday, go, please announce my show and I don't, and then you get mad at me. Um, Oops, I'm sorry. It's a bye-bye. It already, <laughs> the train has left the station. <laughs> and I do screw up. I, I screw up. I forget things. I miss things. Please keep reminding me. If you want to come on the show, and there's a few of you that have reached out to me with me being gone, uh, I'm going to get to you guys this week um, and, and have you come on. Um, and when you go, hey, can I come on the show in the next week or two? Um, I'm booked out like into July, August right now. I have some holes that I can make, but for the most part, I'm booked. Um, I do get cancellations. It, it does happen. Um, but really, hit me up. We'll get you on the schedule. Um, I know I have a lot of friends that are coming on multiple times. And, you know, 
Even my bandmates, getting them on the show sometimes is difficult it because, is. I know. and it's not because I don't want them on the show. It's we get so wrapped up. There's so many people that want to come on. I got to come up with something. I got to come up with something else, dude. Mm -hmm. Like so I can do more interviews. And <laughs> like I don't talk enough as it is. Thank you guys again. If you want to come on the show, send it. Uh, hit me up if you want me to promote it. Send it to me. Remind me. I'm a dumbass. I forget. If you would, go to Facebook, like us, invite your friends to like us, post your stuff there. We also have In the Pit, in the pit with Rick, post your stuff there. Um, you can follow us on iHeartRadio, Spotify, YouTube, Facebook, in, uh, Instagram, Twitter, and we have a Roku channel uh, now, which I'm still waiting. I'm supposed to be getting the toilet urinal cakes with my face on it. Oh, nice. Beautiful. I mean, I could piss on myself then. <laughs> well, other than the other, <laughs> the drunken nights, I could pee them. Oh, my God. I'm getting, I'm getting mail for that one, I'm telling you. Uh, well, thank you, Gennifer, for being on. Absolutely, my brother. I can't you know wait. I uh, I'm sorry I missed the show, but yeah. Um, stick around. We're going to do a little concert calendar. Yeah. <laughs>Thursday, February 27th. Let's dive in. There's only one show that I really want to talk about. Uh, a lot of stuff didn't get sent to me, but my, my boy Chi and uh, all the guys in the Rockaholics are throwing down over at Fat Daddy. So get out. They're going to be playing all night long. Go rock out with the Rockaholics. Uh, it's going to be a great night. Come on, go check them out. Friday, February 28th. So let's go back out to Fat Daddy's and let's start with Cherry. Cherry is going to be throwing down over at Fat Daddy's. And I'm going to blaze through this because, guys, guess what? There's a lot of shows going on. Or let's pop over to Lee Harvey's and you can catch La Cure. La Cure is going to be throwing down at Lee Harvey's. It's a great time of year. I haven't looked at the weather. I don't know if it's going to be good or bad. But Lee Harvey's outdoors, fun place to see La Cure, a little bit of Cure. Or you could go over to the Barley House and catch... Fleetwood X. That's another one that I'd like to go see. Uh, they're going to be throwing down over at Gas Monkey Bar and Grill. Now, this is going to be a good one. Shameless, which is a Garth Brooks tribute. They're going to be uh, hitting the stage and rocking out. That'll be a fun one. Or you could go over to the Sidecar Social and catch Jukebox Heroes. And yes, I know I can't sing. That's okay. <clears throat> they're going to be rocking out at Sidecar Social um, or and you guys know, Rebel Yell, we've been out at the Glass Cactus a bunch lately. Glass Cactus has got back in black. Go get your uh, ACDC. Go, go rock out. It'll be a good one. Or you can go over to the Z Grill and Tap and catch Party Machine. They're going to be rocking out. That's a full night of music. Or if you're on my side of town, actually my side of town, go hang out at Hang Time with Texas Flood. Tech, they are such a wicked talented. God, we are so lucky. Wicked talented group of folks uh, here in the, the, the Metroplex. We are just blessed. Or you could go to the Bedford Ice House and you could rock out with Limelight. And yeah, they, that'll be more of a kind of a dance thing. Uh, go hang out. Or go over to Lava Cantina with Petty Theft. Petty Theft is going to be rocking out if you're a Tom Petty fan. This will be a great show. Um, or you could go over to the Roanoke Chop Shop and catch... The Rockaholics, they're going to be hanging out at the Chop Shop. Or go over to Tees uh, and rock out with Godsmack. New Dragons and Hybrid... Th God, New Dragons. Oh, my Lord, that's a great name. I wish I came up with it. Godsmack, New Dragons or Hybrid Theory. So there you go. There's your Friday night. There's a little bit of what's going on. Uh, check it out. Get off the couch. Go rock out. Saturday, February 29th, let's go over to Lava Cantina and catch Live 80. You guys know Live 80 is a wicked, talented band. They're going to be rocking out all night. Or you could pop back over to the Sidecar Social and catch Ashmore if you need something a little more Southern rock style. Or you could go over to Tolbert's and catch The Zeppelin Project. They will be hitting the stage all night. Or you could pop up to The Rebel and catch Midnight Ranger. They're going to be on stage. Uh, all night over at the Rebel. Or you can go over to Hat Tricks and catch Le Cure or What's That Frequency, which is an REM tribute. Or you could go over to the Roanoke Chop Shop and catch 
Texas Flood. Those guys are on. You, you can't miss a show. They're always out rocking out. Or you could go over to Fat Daddy's and catch Incognito All-Stars. Again, they'll be on stage all night rocking out. They're really uh, what a great group of folks. Just flat out. They're going to be really entertaining. Or you could go over to the Red Rock Bar and Grill and catch Once Bitten. They're going to be playing. Or you could go over, uh, go over to Lee Harvey's and catch Cherry Bomb. Those of you that know, I am a Cherry Bomb fan. Hi, Miss Maddie. I hope you're having a great day. Hope you have a wonderful show. Or you could go over to the Legal Draft Beer Company and catch Metal Shop, Infestation, Crude and Tattooed, and Poisonous. Um, this is going to be a great lineup. Bunch of great bands. Uh, let me know what you think. I might even pop out to this one. This is going to be a fun one. So there you go. There's your Saturday. I know I blazed through it. There's a lot of shows. Um, you guys are doing great. You're sending them to me. I hope I'm catching them all. Uh, like I said earlier, setting up a, an email address. I'll promote the heck out of it. So you guys all have one place you can email with your shows. Keep posting them to the page, but make sure you get them to me. Uh, I'll have that for you here in the next week. Uh, again, if you want to come on the show, ask me. You want to have me promote your show, send it to me. If I forget, because I'm a bonehead, remind me. Uh, I feel bad. I truly feel bad when I miss it. If you don't send it to me and I don't announce it, don't get butt hurt. Sorry guys, I can't catch everything. Um, you know, this, I'm, I'm doing this for free and I'm, I'm trying to stay on top of it. So um, send it to me. Um, you can follow us on iHeartRadio. You can follow us on uh, Spotify, on Twitter, on Instagram, on YouTube, on Facebook, and you can even follow us on the Roku channel. Thank you again for hanging out. Thank you to my guest uh, and, and bandmate and brother in crime, JC Scars. It was great having him on the show. Um, guys, I'll be out and about this weekend. Come find me, take selfies, send them to me. I'm Rick. This is Concert Connection, and I will see you in the pit. <laughs>